This is Josiah Plays Sunless Sea. We're continuing to check out Sunless Sea. It's been several days since I played it, so as usual, I have kind of forgotten. My hold has a lot of stuff in it. 30 out of 40. I guess that's must that must be all my all my fuel and food, huh? Trying to uh, remind myself of how the game works real quick. I don't think there's anything I can really do. Here in town, I think I already kind of did everything. I think I already did everything. Um... There is to do here in town at the end of the last episode. So, I'm gonna head out. Do I have... Let's see, what do I have? I have 84 echoes. I have recent news, okay. Oh yeah, and all these pages from the Neath bow about getting the strange colors and so forth. Okay. Hey, Miser guys, how you doing? Yeah, I'm checking it out. I played a couple hours of it, um, almost a week ago, and now I'm gonna play some more. Still getting my bearings in this thing, so to speak. Alright, so let's see here. I explored all the way up to here. Found some strange places. I think I'm going to go south this time. Let me turn my light off. I'm going to move up to zooming super fast speed here. How's everything going for you, Misergeist? This looks like it's gonna be a dead end. You started playing this again and your islands are in such weird locations than the last time you played? You're now well provisioned. Try venturing further from London. The risks are greater, but so are the rewards. Yeah, I've got a decent amount of fuel and food right now, I suppose. Did I ever figure out what the deal is with this boat right here? It looks like I can dock with it or something. Exhausting. Been working for the past few days. Only got two more days of hard work, then you won't have to work anymore. Damn uni assignments, yeah. Well, that's good. Only two more days, huh? The air trembles, a breath of change passes. Let's, uh... It's a light ship, far from home. Its clear, bright beam warms the way. I can speak to the crew. They long for news of home. I do have news. Or I can buy fuel. But at twice the regular price. All right, I'll talk to the fuel, the crew, and give them news of home. Tea beneath the light. In the bleaching glare of the lens, among the spell smells of oil and metal, you sip tea and chat. The Z's terror recedes. Ooh, I lost five terror. That's nice. Lost my recent news, though. And I now have a Z story. 
Strange truths are told of the waves and what lies beneath. The lies are even stranger. Alright. I'll talk to the fuel, yeah. This guy thinks he's Hank Hill. <laughs> Uh, Rowena's rocks are here. Okay. Should I kill that thing? I think I can kill that thing. Alright, I took two damage. We've entered a fog bank. Our gunners struggle to see our foe. Oh. Megalops defeated. The forlorn and wailing cry of the Megalops turns on its back, legs neatly folded as bluish blood gouts from its wounds. Its golden glow begins to glint dim. I suppose I'll butcher it uh, for supplies. Pale and salty meat. The crew will feast. That glowing flesh is unstable. It crisps and withers as the glow fades. So eat while it's fresh. Lost 35 hunger. Okay. Not bad. So we're in the fog. I can't see. There's some kind of island right here, but... Green glass and basalt. Salt and silence. I almost crashed into the land right there. Murray Straits. There are bigger giant enemy crabs. Yeah, I figured there probably were. And even scarier things in the sea, I'm sure. Can I dock with this island somehow? Yes, I can. It's Quaker's Haven. It's Mutton Island. Mutton Island. Fires on the hillside. Quaker's Haven. Once this simple fishing village was part of the London suburbs before London fell and the waters rushed in. Smoke spirals from cottage chimneys. A lonely hill rises behind town. Can have drinks. Can explore the shore. I can pick up a wretched mog. I can chat to the fisherman. I can visit the hilltop above town. That cost twenty echoes, which is a lot. I'll explore the shore. Wander a little way along the shore from the dock. Zailers and Zales. The Z. Yeah. A glittering eye. You turn and there's a long, lank, brown man at your shoulder. Listen, he says. I have a story for you. I something about the gray beard compels your attention. Leave and don't look back. Turn the situation around. No, I have stories for you. I'll listen to him. A rambling tale. His story has a wedding full of murders, and a leafless forest, and a vast serpent which eats souls. The tale winds on and on like the serpent, until you are lost in the dizzy toils of its sinister ships and its glamorous corpses. You nod awake. He's gone, but not, it seems, before searching your pockets for small change. Oh, I've gained terror. That's not great. And I've lost a couple echoes. And I've gained a tale of terror. Alright. Well, it could have gone better. I don't really need a wretched mog. I've already got a, a, a nice little comatose ferret. Chatting to the fishermen only costs one echo. They sail the Z around the island. They mend their nets by the harbor. They see all that happens here, but you'll need coin to open their mouths. 
Little ships and little secrets. Pirates plying the waves. Smugglers at their work. Conate ships putting into resupply. Nothing dramatic, but enough to interest the Admiralty. Okay, so now I got my port report for this place. I think I've got to forego these other options at this time. I don't want to spend 20 Echoes to have drinks. That's a lot. Alright, we'll keep headed. We'll keep heading south. You miss your cat? What happened to your cat? He died a few years ago. Oh, that's sad. I'm sorry. Little ships throng the waters here. The crew grow wistful. They swap old stories of sunlit sea. Not Z. This is C. We draw near to the Cumean Canal, the way to the surface. Oh, really? I've never had a cat. I had a dog uh, many, many, many years ago when I was a little kid. I've lived with other people's pets since then when I had roommates that had pets. Fed the crew. Megalops defeated! Green glass and basalt, salt and silence. Alright, maybe I should dissect it for knowledge. No, I'm going through my supplies. I'll, I'll just butcher it. Actually, I don't have that much hunger, though. I only have five hunger. I don't get supplies for butchering it. I just lose hunger. So let's dissect it for knowledge. A crab full of conundrums. You set to work with your knives and acids. It is an undistinguished adolescent specimen. A megalops of one of the deep Z crab species. But its eyes, normally vestigial in these troglodytic beasts, are large and rather beautiful. The golden glow is almost gone now, although sparks leap now and then to your knife. Gained a fragment. Succeeded in a pages challenge. Gained one fragment? Seriously? That's not exactly a ton of knowledge. You had a dog too, you still have one now, but you had to put your old dog down because he was clinging to life, suffering from cancer. Oh, that's that's too bad. That's a bummer. Your current dog's a nutcase? <laughs> that's awesome. Crazy dogs are pretty cool. You prefer both dogs and cats? You just hate people? I prefer dogs to cats, definitely. There's no question. I guess I kind of go back and forth on hating people. Most of the time I like people. But once in a while... I get tired of them. Moving right along at a high rate of speed here. Command Canal is some distance to the southwest. That's kind of the direction I'm going anyway, so... Green glass and basalt. Salt and silence. What is that thing? the crew. Oh, it has 75 health. Maybe I should leave that the fuck alone. It's a jilly fleur. I'm just gonna leave that thing alone.
Giannotti Harbor. Wait. I almost missed the uh, face wreck and dock there. Almost missed it. Humean Canal staging area. Here, the dark waters run down from the surface, from a brighter sea. The command canal staging area. The canal ascends through locks and gates and shadowed turns to the sunlight of the surface. Travel to the surface. The sun is dangerous to neath dwellers like your crew, but the surface has its temptations. Ensure you're well stocked with supplies and fuel or you may never return. Looks like I do not have enough... Uh, Wait, I guess it says it's locked. Oh, because you need 22 fuel and I only have 18, right? Okay. So I'm not going to do that now. So listen for surface gossip. The ships of the surface linger here. This is their lifeline to a warmer place. A sorry end. A card game ends badly when one surface sailor knifes another for all the usual reasons. The other players scrabble from the coins that spill from her pockets, but you snatch up a scrap of paper they overlook. Curious markings. Dates, times, code names, spies work. I now have one moves in the great game. The nations of Europe and beyond compete for influence. Their plots reach even to the neath. The admiral and the diplomat, among others, will be interested to hear this. That's all for now. Gather information for a port report. Many ships pass this way, but perhaps you'll pick up something they missed. Business as usual. The gates open and shut. The locks remain free from sabotage. If anywhere besides London is safe, in all the Untersee, it's here. The surface nations have an interest in keeping the way open. I now have a perfunctory port report. They sell damn well at the di diplomat. The moves. Where's the diplomat? I can buy f fuel and supplies here for an excess of money. Kind of a spoiler. Oh yeah, don't don't tell me then. I wasn't sure if it was just somebody that I had already seen and, and missed, but it's obviously somewhere I have not yet discovered. So we'll just get there when we get there. Iron Republic is some distance to the south. Sizzling vapors rise from the sea. Time slips sideways. A coil of rope has stung a stoker, and his fellows beat it to death. We are under the hand of the Iron Republic. Whoa, that's like a giant whirlpool over there. I probably shouldn't sail into that. A row of watchful Z-Bats hang from a cable. Their heads swivel in unison as you cross the deck. This place has its own, like, theme song. The Iron Republic looks like they're doing some smelting. Being very irony here. There's the port. Kugel's Bluff. This place looks cool.
The Iron Republic. Hell's client state. Be wary. Their laws are not the laws of man or nature. Factory engines roar like fo false lions. Blood thunders in the dock pipes. Crimson lightning skitters across the deck, leaps to the rail, curls there like a cat. The city is reflected in glassy calm harbor water. The citizens there have the heads of dogs and serpents. Hell has brought freedom to the Iron Republic. Freedom from all laws, even those of nature. Listen, your fears line up on the key, waiting, waving like old lovers. I don't have enough terror for that. Engage an officer, the irrepressible cannoneer. Oh, I could use a cannoneer. Captain, are you looking for a gunner? I'm looking for a ship. Here are my references. Here are more references. Here's my design for a whistling shell. Here's my colleague. He'll stay on shore. Here's my hand. Will you take it? The cannoneer is a gunnery officer who substantially increases iron. Cost 20 echoes, but probably worth it. Let's get him. Oh, welcome aboard. Oh, this is interesting. Room for improvement. There's always room for improvement. Wait, let me make notes. Paper! Appoint your new officer by dragging them from the officer's tab. Yes, I know that. That's all for now. I've lost 20 echoes, and I now have an irrepressible cannoneer. So... There he is. Cheery enthusiasm is a welcome, but unnerving trait in a gunner. I get plus eight iron. Wow, that's a lot of iron. Let's talk to him. Hello! What can I do for you? I have lists! Increase your iron. Spend a secret to improve your iron unless it's higher than a hundred. The ship must be in good shape to sustain the impact. The Cannoneer's Experiments. Let's do it. Excellent! That's at the top of my list! No, I mean yes. I mean my god, no. That captain is gonna cause explosions. Although, hmm, now you mention it. Lost a secret, I gained one iron. That's not a ton of iron, but okay. Invite the cannoneer to dine with you. Apparently I can't do that because I need five torpedo components. Which is interesting. Alright. So, Market of Hunger is the Parliament of Flies. Market of Hunger is with its spires and sigils. Is it a parody of the bazaar? Today, flies fill its arcades. Buzz, buzz. I can compile a port report. It won't be entirely straightforward. The streets won't lie straight, and the ink freezes whenever you look away from the ink well. Let's do that. New passions. The sensations of the Republic are overwhelming. This is a desire for years. This is a hatred. That is a hatred for fountains. Here is an emotion that can only be expressed mathematically. Now you are awash with a nostalgia for the hatching of the egg. Write it down. Write it all down. Perhaps you'll be rid of it. But this place is pretty crazy. Gain a tale of terror. Memory of distant shores. Parliament of Flies is open for business. Out with the old laws, in with the new. We have a port report. A concept is a brick. It can be used to build a courthouse of reason, or it can be thrown through the window. Hearts remains unchanged. Yeah, this place is pretty cool. Fund a tittering artificer's project. Which I can't do because I don't have devil bone dice or stygian ivory. Alright, so let's check out the market of hungers. The Merc Folds. Visit the Shops tag. Gained a Fragment. Gained one Terror. My Terror is kind of getting up there now. Terror of the Z is less here. Alright, let's see. House of Pleasures. 
flies, listen. The flies will caress you with their wings. Hurry up and purchase something. So, I can s buy fuel extra cheap here, actually. It's a little bit cheaper here than uh, it is in London. Dread Surmise. The awful daring of a moment's supposition, which an age of ignorance can never deny. Ah, uh, those cost searing enigmas. Mysteries are fire. Truth burns. You can buy a bale of parabola linen. Who plucks the flax from the banks of rivers that flow through sleep? That's very expensive. Judgment's egg. Is this a soul? It's pale and bright. Souls like this, they say, are the spores of strange gods. And those cost colossal fluke cores. Sintalak. They will buy this from me. Coral that glimmers as if moonlit. It makes marvelous jewelry or terribly expensive tea. Romantic literature they will buy from me if I had any. All the adventures of the heart are here in prose, poetry, or pictorial form. Some may be more suitable for private consumption. In London, custom studio is paid on love stories, even illustrated love stories. You don't know how many times you're on two to one fuel, then you see this place and you're like, fuck me, I'm gonna live. <laughs> nice. Yeah, um, well, I mean, I have a lot of fuel, but I could get a little bit more. Get myself, top myself back up to 20. Since it's cheaper here, it makes sense to do that. I don't think there's anything else I can really do here right now. So off we go. Alright, so we've come south quite a ways. But we're going to keep going more south. We've entered a fog bank. Our gunners struggle to see our foe. Fortunately, we don't really have a foe right now, which is good. I'm not at all convinced of my ability to handle a foe. Grand Geode is some distance to the south. What do we have here? Came on deck to find the metal sharp with sparks. Ozonal Coronas haunt the ship. This is Dawn's Edge. Laughter from the foredeck. Discovered Castle Claire. Whoa, what the fuck is that shit down there? Seems bad. Yeah, this game seems like it definitely has interesting adventures. I don't mind pretentious words. <laughs> if you click on those little pop-ups when you use your Z-Bat, it will mark it on your map. Oh! Alright, well that is good to know. Okay, well, what are those things? Those things make me nervous. I don't know if there's something, like, super bad that will destroy me, or... Porkery Bay. Distant Bells. That must be the, uh... Geode place.
Grand Geode. There it is. And a secret. Speak to your officers to improve your abilities. Yay, a secret. So how is my iron now? It's up to 34. Which isn't so bad. That gold stuff won't hurt you. It just slows you down. Alright. What I was going to do was come over here to this... Uh, Zello's town. This port save my game here in this port because I'm playing on Merciful and then uh, wait a minute where's the on the horizon a sickly yellow light glimmers for a moment then fades is that it? I think I might have missed it, or maybe I can't get to it, I'm not sure. I'm just wasting a bunch of fuel right now, and food. Let's see if I can sail in here. Let's go really slowly, just in case. Oh yeah, I can. Hmm, who knew? All right, Grand Geode, a distant song like a mirage. Oh, this place is cool. It's just like a, literally a giant geode with a little town inside of it. A naval base with the Royal Navy's emblems, curiously amended. Efficient, bright-eyed women and men work briskly everywhere you look. They are singing hymns with unfamiliar words. Hard-faced Royal Marines watch you carefully, barring entry to the geode's heart. A plaque by the docks has been defaced with orange paint, but you can still make out the original inscription. Station 5, adjunct. Hmm. I'll compile a port report. Does the Admiralty know? Or want to know? Take discreet notes. The Marines are watching. Efficient workers sing vigorously. Keen eyes observe. Ask to speak with someone in authority. What is this place? Oh, you know what I, ha I haven't done? I'm not sure. Which one of these I'm on? What is this place? The Commodore may be able to give you a few minutes. The Commodore shakes your hand warmly. He's a handsome, open-faced fellow in an immaculate Navy uniform. His office is equally handsome. It overlooks the glittering interior crystal, interior crystal cliff. It must be as well lit as any study in the Neath. It deflects questions about the purpose of this installation. Classified, you know but smilingly offers you tea, biscuits, and mineralogical anecdotes. The biscuits are good, but the anecdotes rather blend one into the next. You find yourself nodding, and then jerk suddenly awake. The Commodore is smiling. Your cup is empty. You feel well, very well. A little euphoric, even. Come back soon, he says softly. And now have one memoir as a sunstroke. You've spoken to the Commodore and Grand Geode, but your memory's a little hazy. The light, it's pretty. Menaces, yearning, burning. That's all for now. I've lost five terror, I like that. And I've gained a memory of distant shores. At the university and in the tomb colonies, they'll pay well for stories of far lands. Okay. Purchase an element of dawn from the Commodore. I have to have 50, 50 supplies? Jeez. And a vital intelligence. Engage an officer of the Carnelian Exile. Oh, I could use a first officer, couldn't I? Yeah. What do I need for this? A memoir as a sunstroke. The sun, the sun, the sun, the sun, the sun. 
Engage an officer, the Carnelian Exile. A dark spectacled woman marches up to you in some haste. Captain, take me with you. I am no longer welcome here, and I will show you where we need to go. Increases mirrors and pages. All right. Welcome aboard. Here I am. A ship, I suppose, is both always here and never there, because there becomes here. I now have one Carnelian exile. Soft-spoken and a little mystical. How much does she see? And I get three pages and six mirrors from having her. Sweet. Let's uh, talk to her. She has the discomforting, even irritating habit of answering your questions just before you finish speaking. Ask her to dine with you and ask her to remove her glasses. Can't do that because I don't have a searing enigma. Ask her to dine with you, but don't ask her to remove her glasses. Also need a searing enigma. Spend a secret to increase your mirrors. My mirrors is already pretty high, so I'm good. Ask her. Yes. If I had at last salt song, I could ask her about that. So there's nothing I can talk to her about. Look, she's got a little fang. Carnelian in exile. I think she's some kind of devil or something. From hell. But, welcome aboard. And I think that's all I can do here at Grand Geode for now. Wait. Wait. Can I buy anything here? No, okay. The Dawn Machine, some distance to the southwest. Could be the Iron Republic's close by after all they are Hell's Exos. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Alright, well, let's go check this thing out. The Dawn Machine. Then again, I'm not exactly doing well on supplies right now. Maybe I should start heading back. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save. Over number two. Just in case I get myself into trouble here. You've been unlocked. The sun, the sun, the sun, the sun, the sun. Just like what you're saying. <laughs> nice. Whoa. What the fuck is this? It's the dawn machine. This looks serious. Wow. Um... Laughter from the foredeck. Restless nights. In the watches of the night, you pad softly past the hatch to the crew quarters. A man cries out softly in his sleep, desperately. Another. Ignore them, inquire about their dreams the next morning. What did they see? A tough challenge. Let's give it a shot. I failed in the challenge. Eyes and a face. The whole neath lit up like a snuffer mask. There's something in the roof, Captain. It is the roof. It's watching us. Eyes and a face. Eyes and a face. 
You have him subdued. No discipline this time, but you require your first officer to keep an eye on him. Gained terror, gained some fragments, and that was what happened when you fail in the challenge. The Dawn Machine... ...is a little bit on the scary side. I feel like I should leave that alone. Let the crew, alright. I need to head somewhere back to where I can get some food and stuff, so... Hopefully I won't run out by the time I get back to... Hodgerton's Bluff. Luminescent beasts like eyeless dolphins play in your wake. Alright, back to London, if I can make it. I go through food a lot faster. Sizzling vapors rise from the sea. Time slips sideways. A coil of rope has stung a stoker and his fellows beat it to death. We are under the hand of the Iron Republic. Yeah, okay, we're back at the Iron Republic. And there's a ship. It's a Republican Dreadnought has 400 health. Yeah, we're not gonna fuck with that. Have you been up to Wither yet? Yeah, I have been up to Wither. That's as far north as I got. Yeah, that place was weird. They only answer questions with questions. The glim lamp with the prow fizzes and arcs. Fed the crew. Oh, I'm, I'm, I have problems. Can I buy food here? I don't think I can. I don't think I can buy food here. Which is gonna be a real problem for me. Fire in the belly. The market always sells fuel. Use a market story choice for more goods. Oh, I have enough terror to do this now. Listen, your fears line up on the key, waiting, waving like old lovers. As you touch the dock, your fears leap fondly into your waiting arms. They dissolve. Gather the oily scraps they left. Gain 71 fragments. That's all for now. Visit the shops. Gain the terror. Great. Yeah, there's no, um... There's no supplies available. Which doesn't bode well. I think Giannotti however had supplies, they were just expensive. I'm starting to have issues with terror too. I don't really know how to get rid of it beyond paying an incredibly high amount of money. Like 10 echoes per one terror reduced back in town. That's no good. I don't have the echoes for that. What happens when my terror maxes out? <laughs> What's that? Unfinished revolutionaries. Well, that look ship looks like it would kick my ass, so... It's 
a good idea to always hit Iron Republic twice when you travel southward. Okay. Well, we're gonna run out of food. And... That is not good. You're being watched. Little ships throng the waters here. The crew grow wistful. They swap old stories of sunlit sea. We draw near to the Cuman Canal, the way to the surface. We're about to run out of food. Fed the crew, now we're out of food. So, maybe if I just buy one supply, it will be enough to get me from here. The Albertine Gates. I could listen for surface gossip. I gained another move in the great game. This says the same thing as last time. Yeah. They're charging 30 for supplies, which is really expensive. Oh my god, I have no money. I'm so fucked, because I can't... I don't have any new way to make money, and I don't... And, I, and I'm, I'm about to run out of supplies, and I'm not going to be able to buy more. How screwed am I about to be? Like, I don't know if I... What's going to happen? Because I'm <laughs> in deep trouble. I'm not going to buy supplies here. I'm just going for London. I'm going to see what happens. I've got two moves in the great game now. I hope I get some good payment for these port reports back in London because I'm going to need it to buy food. Who's that? Byzantium tramp steamer. Leaving that fucker alone. Hunger's building up and I have no food. I guess crew members are gonna start dying. I don't know. Home waters. Zaylers dawdle at the rail, watching for the lights of London. Oh, I could eat this thing! Oh god, I'm getting my ass kicked. Eat it! Alright, that got rid of my hunger. But, I'm taking some serious damage here now that I have two of these things on me. Why is my gun not... Why am I not getting firing solution? What the fuck's going on? Yeah, I know my hull is damaged. I'm getting my ass kicked. But it wouldn't let me shoot anymore. Oh, you need to click on it. I'm just gonna run away. I don't need to kill that thing right now. Alright, well that got rid of my hunger, so nobody's gonna starve to death, because we've made it back. So that was a lucky- but I just took a ton of hull damage. carries the scent of salt and shadows. What do shadows smell like?
The Revenue Men. Her Enduring Majesty's Customs Service works closely with both the Ministry of Public Decency and the Masters of the Bazaar. Today they have selected you for an inspection. Don't cheek them. Let them do your their worst. You have nothing to hide. Reduce your suspicion. Okay, I don't appear to have any contraband. Declare all controlled goods. Pay the customs duty on untaxed souls or romantic literature you're carrying. Surrender any smuggled sunlight. Talk your way out of the search. Which I would need more favors, admiralty favor. Set something aside, it's a challenge. It's a Vale's challenge. Well, I'm going to let them do their worst. As I have nothing to hide. Vexed and frustrated, they roam your deck like wolves. They tear through your belongings like termites. At least, at last they leave. Suspicion hasn't changed because it's lower than five. Returning to London, the lights of London welcome you home. A breath of relief. As soon as the gangplank touches the quayside, the terrors of the deep Z lighten. Walk taller, smile more readily, but what dreams may cling? Yeah, I have a lot of terror. Coming home. Terror is always reduced to 50 when you return to London if it's higher. Oh, that's good. Okay, that is really good to know. If your terror was high, you may suffer nightmares later. Terror goes down to 50. You now have menaces, nightmares, strength. Oh. Alright, collect messages from the harbor master. A breath of relief, which I can't do because I don't have enough terror. That's what I just did, essentially. All the clatter and song of the dockside. It soothes the soul. Are there messages for you? Let's find out. Let's see. What's this? Rose, Roser's Wharf. I now have a, a free evening. It's all for now. The Rose Market bustles on Roser's Wharf. Who will be there today? A market for collectors and eccentrics throngs on Ro Roser's Wharf. So we'll check that out. Something has changed in the Neath. Your time at Z will change you and London. Someone wants to sign on. A blind bruiser would like a word. Okay. A little proposal. Good evening, Captain, and what a marvelous evening it is, if you don't mind my saying so, and given it's my impression you are an obliging sort, I imagine you will not mind at all. And since you are so very obliging, perhaps you wouldn't mind making a little detour via Mount Palmerston with a few articles of cargo, if you happen to be in the area? The cheery man will of course cover your expenses for this trifling inconvenience. Um... Except the commission. It is, after all, only after all the trifling in inconvenience. Refuse the commission. Uh, I'll accept it, even though I know these are some dodgy characters. I feel like I can. I need all the lucrative opportunities I can get right now. If you would be so kind to deliver this little gift to our friends in Mount Palmerston, then they will see we gets to hear about it. And when you come back, we'll cover your expenses. Bon voyage, as my aunt, who was French by birth, if not by inclination, used to say. Somewhere northeast of London, I agreed to smuggle souls from London to Mount Palmerston. I now have one unstamped crate of brilliant souls. A crate of exceptional human souls. It has never known the tender touch of the Imperial Customs stamp. Consequently... It cannot be sold on the open market, so you'd better not be caught with it. Good thing I got that after they searched my ship. So we've come back to London. I'm going to save real quick. And uh, we're going to do all the London stuff here uh, coming up in our next episode. That is going to do it for this one. Thank you for watching. This has been Josiah Plays Sunless Sea.